Hello there everybody, this is Captain J back with another video and before the video starts like always, a very quick disclaimer. First and foremost, the music doesn't belong to me, these were categorized and made as non-copyrighted songs. Also my videos are not sponsored by anyone unless I specify the company that would be sponsoring a video. Without taking any more of your time, let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be very short, just a very short tutorial um, of how to put Teapot onto your RGH. I had um, somebody ask me if I could make a tutorial about it. So like I said, it's going to be very short, but straight up to the point. So let's get started. First things first, let's head over to teapotlive.us. Scroll down to where you see client JTAG and RGH, or teapot, teapot client actually. Just wait for it to download. Once it does, we're gonna go ahead and extract it. I've put this already on my desktop to make it a little bit easier. Once extracted, of course, we're gonna have a secondary folder, and in here we have all the files that we need. You can go ahead and take uh, the README and just see what other files might be needed. Um, of course, we can either transfer this through a USB or through Neighborhood, whichever one you like. So let's go ahead and start with Neighborhood. If you've already watched my previous videos, I've showed how to get Neighborhood working on your uh, console so anyway let's go ahead and go into the retail and then from here we can just as simply go ahead and transfer as you can see I already have mine on here already but for the purpose of the video I'll go ahead and drag and drop it onto here and then just say uh, yes to all and it's already been transferred all right now if you want to do it through USB of course you do have to make sure that it is formatted to FAT32 uh, you can do this two different ways. You can either go on the console or the computer and format it. On the computer, you can click on the USB, right click, and then format. On the console, you can go into the settings and then go to the USB and then click it for it to be formatted. Now that the USB has been properly formatted, now we can go ahead and transfer the file from the teapot root files over to the USB and just give it a couple of seconds wait for it to be transferred and then you're good now we can go ahead and plug the USB to the console now over on the console we can slide all the way right to system and then go down to storage and on here I got two different USB devices but once I plug mine in the second one comes up which is the 28.8 uh, gigabytes free but of course you're not gonna be able to find anything here I just want to show you that it was already plugged in so now let's go to recent on recent we're gonna go into the XEX menu and then from the XEX menu pay attention to how I'm gonna tell you to transfer this stuff because it, this is very important and it is gonna take you a second to figure it all out I have games already saved onto my RGH so therefore it always ends up on the game folder this is the very first screen that pops up right after clicking on the XEX menu. So from here, what we're gonna do is press RB. A minute ago, I said that I had two USB devices. So here is very critical to see which devices I have on. So from here, I'm gonna have to press X and then go down to USB one. On here, we can now see that the teapot.xex is on this USB device. Now let's go down press Y A to copy X to go back to HDD1 press Y and then go down to paste and then of course it's already here so I'm just gonna overwrite it and there we go that's all that there is to it now let's head over to the dash launch installer default.xex what we're gonna do now is go down to plugins head down to the plugin number two press A and then find the teapot.xex. Once you do this, press RB, down to HDD1, press X, A, and then beat it back out. And of course, what you wanna do is restart the console. Unbeknown to me, there was an update, so I wasn't actually expecting it, but 
Of course, this is completely normal, so let's go ahead and just let it update. Once the update is complete, you will get the notification that you are connected to live. So congratulations, that was about it. That is everything actually that there is for you to be able to do all that I have done. If this tutorial was helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe if you like to. If you have any issues with anything in the tutorial whatsoever, please don't forget to leave it down in the comments so that way I can respond to you as fast as I can. Thank you guys so very much for watching. This was Captain J and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.